Why must virtual teams have soft skills? My name is Howard Espen, and I'm the creator of a virtual team game. Virtual team members need trust to collaborate effectively. The research shows that trust is fundamentally the greatest challenge, the lack of trust is the greatest challenge that virtual teams globally are facing today. The research also shows that there is a direct correlation between social and emotional intelligence on virtual teams, that soft skills, and the degree of trust that may manifest. Uh, the research shows that if there is limited soft skills, chances are the trust will be affected and there'll be a significant lack thereof. The challenge for virtual teams, leadership and training, is that there's insufficient time to build relationships, there's an inability to read nonverbal cues, and there's a lack of water cooler moments. The goal for effective training is to actually create virtual water cooler equivalents and to promote symbolic communication. The research shows that symbolic communication and the equivalent water cooler moments are going to be tied to a variety of soft skill applications. Our original research has identified 20 best practices and when one looks at these in total, they're all about engaging and connecting the whole person and virtual team emotionally at the start of a project. These best practices help a virtual team, essentially of virtual strangers, break the ice and therefore provide the equivalent of water cooler moments using online play, games, and creativity. In summary, why must virtual teams have soft skills? To be productive, virtual teams need to trust each other. In order to trust, virtual team members must be self-aware, empathic, appreciate their differences, and to communicate honestly. These are all soft skills. Thank you.